Welcome back, friend of Chews. This is Jeff Achu, and welcome to episode 5 of my Kingdom Hearts Door to Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play series. We are going to drop off these, or this last mushroom, to Kyrie. Thanks, Sora. Like, oh my god, I found something today, too. Here it's yours. She keeps finding all my high potions. I buried those in the sand for treasure. Tired? Wanna, like, call it a day? Yeah, let's go home. Okay, tomorrow's the big day. We're going to the mall. Mall tour 2018. Let's go. We should rest up. You know, Riku has changed. What do you mean? Well... Hmm. You okay? Sora! Let's take the raft and go! Just the two of us! Huh? <laughs> Just kidding! What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kairi. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. But now I'm ready! No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? Don't worry, he'll just make other it's people change great. into him. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Sorry to rush off without saying goodbye, but there's big trouble brewing. Aha! Uh -huh. Not sure why, but the stars have been blinking out one by one, and that means disaster can't be far behind. I hate to leave y'all, but I gotta go check into it. Haha! Uh -huh. There's someone with a key, the key to our survival. So I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him. Got it? We need that key or we're doomed. Doomed, I tell ya. So go to Traverse Town and find Leon. He'll point you in the right direction. Ha ha. P.S. Would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Sticker. Oh dear. What could this mean? It means he left. It means we'll just have to trust the king. Gosh, I sure hope he's all right. Yeah, don't worry, we'll find the king and the Thank you, both of you. can you Of course. You be careful now. We never both do figure out what it is he wants. And to chronicle your travels, he <sighs> will come Maybe the nephew? No, the nephews are in Traverse Town. We never figure oh, yeah. out what it is. Donald thing. wants her to take care of cricket at your service. We hope for your safe return. Please help the king. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. Gorge, Jiminy, your world disappeared too. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Don't you? Oh, right. I got you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. I mean, world border kinda works, too. I mean, yeah, world order works better for what they're saying, but like... Keeping the borders of the world segregated we'll kind of makes sense also. Huh? I'm with Goofy on that one. He is the smartest character in this whole series, after all. I mean, it's kind of like the Jar Jar Binks thing, where everybody assumes, you know, in that wild theory that Jar Jar Binks is secretly a Sith Lord. I think Goofy's smarter than Xehanort in all this. <laughs> you 
you know, this is something I kind of miss about the other games. This one went for pure comedy. I mean, it wasn't comical all the time, but it had some legitimately funny moments. Listen to <laughs> all day. Wake me up, wake me up, and I can't wake up. Wake me up and save me. Dude, Goofy's just like the greatest Disney character ever. Move over, Mickey Mouse. We got your boy Goof wait. Troop. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Sora has pants that aren't oh, no. red left. or a onesie. Here it is, boys. Sora, dinner's ready. Come on down. Sora? Yes! Sora's mom! Goodbye, bitch. We'll never see you again. We haven't even seen you this time. What's that? That is Xehanort. Goose boat and Kyrie's. I think you mean Xehanort and Xehanort's boat. Oh shit, the things from my dream. Ah! the Chucka! I can't do nothing to you. Um, so I never did. Ah, oh, this is a bad episode to bring it up because you really can't do much. I'll I'll grind a little bit. Um, once I get the Keyblade. I think I have to come here first. Where did this door come from? Better go find Riku first. Oh, uh, okay, look, there's Riku. Where he always is. I, uh, I wrote down what the story was I was gonna tell in the last video, so... Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We gotta find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Oh, that Are iconic in which she becomes Xehanort. Or always has been. I'll get a video on that at some point. I've written uh, up my thoughts on this, but I'm 99% certain that the reveal in Kingdom Hearts 3, the thing that's going to be hard to swallow, is that Riku has been Xehanort all along. Like, Xehanort is an older version of Riku through dumb time travel and shit. He'll, uh, you guys will see it later, or I'll talk about it. Keyblade. Keyblade. Hell yeah, now we can fight. And now I can talk. Okay, so, uh, I wrote it down, so there's no possible chance for me to mess this up now. Um, I started telling you guys last episode about... Uh, how I know the exact date of when I first started playing Kingdom Hearts. Uh, my best friend had given it to me to borrow, I told you guys that already. Uh, he was telling me, I got sidetracked talking about the Harry Potter thing and that's what eventually threw me off. Um, but the reason I can pinpoint it is because, so as I also started saying before, I was in college when I first started. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. I was in a theater group. Uh, whoo, that's like a 2% chance you get a potion from them. Um, I absolutely loved, uh, theater. I still do. I'm big into plays. I do enjoy musicals to an extent. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm big into theater. So, when I was in college, I took intro to acting, intro to theater, or something like that. Uh, I think it was intro to acting. 
Um, and I met a lot of really cool people. Uh, this one guy, his name was James. He, uh, he was a really cool dude. Do I have abilities yet other than zero? No, okay. Um, and he was a big Pokemon fan. I actually went to his house one time and I played Pokemon, uh, the, the Wii version. Battle Revolutions, or Battle Revelations, or Battle Rev something. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. Um, so, we were going to see the Midnight pre-release of the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie, which is funny and ironic because... Pirates of the Caribbean ends up being in Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, and so my my best friend at the time, and, and still is, gave me his copy of Kingdom Hearts 1 to borrow and to play. And I had been kind of, you know, avoiding it because I didn't really want to, but I promised him I'd play it. It was a free game. I didn't have to buy it or anything. So, I mean, it wasn't free. I had to give it back to him. But... So I play the game, right? And, or I'm waiting, I didn't play the game right away, I was waiting for uh, one of my classmates to come pick me up, because they were gonna, we were gonna ride together to go see Pirates 3. And as I'm sitting there, bored, because, you know, it was a midnight showing, and it was about 9 o'clock at night or so, I'm like, okay, well, I've got a bunch of time, what am I going to do in the meantime? And then I remembered I had Kingdom Hearts, and I was like, well, I guess I can give it kind of a trial run, kind of see what the game is like, you know? I can put a couple hours into it, get a feel for whether or not I like it, um, and we'll go from there. And so, uh, again, I'll put up the the time, but I think it was like April in 2007, is when, I think it was like April 7, 2007, something like that. I'll, I'll put up in the description or on the screen the exact date, but that is how I know when I first started playing Kingdom Hearts was on the night that the pre-release for, um, At World's End premiered. Which is also, now that I think about it, super ironic, because that movie is being represented in Kingdom Hearts 3. So, it's just kind of cool how that movie and that series, this series, has followed me uh, throughout my life. The other funny thing, the two other important things about this story that I feel I should mention that are worth telling. Uh, first and foremost, I... Uh, I had not seen any of the other Pirates of the Caribbean movies up until that point. I was going into this movie completely blind, kind of like I was going into Kingdom Hearts 3. But I really liked the people I was hanging out with, most of them anyway. Uh, there was a really cute girl there that I really liked, um, not gonna say her name, but she was even more into acting than I was, and she ended up taking it and making it, I wouldn't say a career, but she does a lot more theater than I've ever done. Um, <clears throat> she was just fantastic, and I had like this giant crush on her, so I definitely wanted to spend some time with her, uh, and I ended up getting to after the movie, which was cool. Um, but we, uh, actually there are three things. I'll tell that story probably another day, though. Um, because there was another girl that was kind of into me during that time. Hey, we finally have an ability. Once I kill this Heartless, I'm gonna do it. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, it was my first time ever watching any of the Pirates movies, which I always think is kind of a unique little thing. And then the third, or the second thing that is pretty interesting, uh, going back to my friend James, uh, which I've always thought was pretty funny. His name's James, and he's huge into Pokemon. Um, actually, some of you guys might know him to an extent. Uh, not the James from Starblade, but, um, this is a different James. If you've ever been to DeviantArt and you've seen 
the sketches of the Pokemon in real life by, it's like Ganoop the Roof or Ganoof the Roof or something like that. I don't remember exactly what his name is. I'll, I'll put that up on the, on the screen as well. Um, it, it's a very interesting name. Um, that was him. Uh, and he's, he's been featured on Dorkly and a couple of others for his, uh, for his Pokemon sketches. And he does like the anatomy of Pokemon in real life and what they would look like. He's super talented as an artist. And, uh, there is a chance that you guys may have seen something by him in the past. Um, he actually went to that Pirates, uh, screening in total pirate garb. Like, I didn't know it at the time, but he was essentially cosplaying Jack Sparrow. And, uh, I always thought that was really cool. Um, so yeah. Oh, hey, there's a couple more Heartless we can kill. Uh, so yeah, so that's my experience with starting off the Kingdom Hearts series. A game I had absolutely no interest in. Uh, I know the exact day... I started. I mean, of course I don't remember it exactly off the top of my head, but anytime I want to remember it, I can just go look up, hey, when was the uh, pre-release, or when was the pre-release, when was the uh, midnight screening of Pirates 3, and boom, I have the very first day I ever played Kingdom Hearts on there, so it's just kind of cool. Kyrie. Sora. Eat the sand. Ah, <sighs> fight two against this guy. I'm jumping. Jumping is faster. But that's the only thing I've taken out of speedrunning and watching speedruns, except the air combos in Kingdom Hearts, even in Kingdom Hearts 1, are so much faster in the air. Ooh, the air combos are so much faster in the air. The air combos are so much faster than ground combos. There we go. Hell yeah. Cool. I may be a little over leveled. I just sent that giant monster into the sky, so I might be just a wee bit over leveled, but eh, it's all good. Sora sure does like flying into the darkness a lot. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Don't look so pissed. Whoa, a star's going out. Come on, let's hurry. We've got yet another one of my favorite scenes coming up, or at least one of my favorite moments. Where's that thing? Well, hey, so you know. Maybe we ought to go find Leon. Oh, Donald, uh, you know, I bet you that, uh... uh what do you know, you big palooka? What, what do I know? <laughs> Come on, Pluto! <laughs> ah, Goofy, you never fail to make me smile. Oh yeah, Kyrie. Do it again. What? Kyrie, your nose is so. Ah! This isn't a dream. Where am I? Oh boy. You got what you wanted. Do you know where we are? And you didn't even need to use a raft. Hey.
And so we have reached the end of the tutorial stage. I forgot about this little cutscene. This is totally weird. I'm in another world. What a great cutscene. It's like we didn't already know that. Ah, uh, the mailbox. Um, there is still something just really awkward about my my control scheme here. Uh, with the camera. It's just, it seems so much slower. Uh, but yeah, we are officially at the end of the tutorial scene, or the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1, I guess. Um, next episode, I think I'm gonna go into a semi-unpopular opinion about, uh, I mean, maybe it's, may maybe other people feel this way. I'd actually be very surprised if other people didn't, but, uh... I'm gonna have a very... I'm, I'm just gonna go into my thoughts about it. So, uh, we're gonna end it here. Uh, thank you again so much for everybody who's been watching. Uh, you guys have just... I'm gonna assume you guys have been the greatest people ever. This is all still the same first night. I think while it's on my mind, I'm gonna do the next episode uh, now. That'll be episode six, and I'm gonna cut it off then for the evening because it is about 11 o'clock my time, I think, uh, p.m., so I'm doing these at night. But uh, I, I am assuming I've got at least a couple of viewers from Starblade, and I know one of my friends said he's definitely going to check it out, and I think a couple of my other friends are going to watch this, uh, Bobby Gaines, uh, which, by the way, if I haven't plugged it already, I'm pretty sure I have, but... Go watch our Sonic Mania Let's Play over on Bobby Gaines' YouTube channel. Uh, just type in Bobby Gaines. Uh, you probably won't find it by going Sonic Mania Bobby Gaines. Uh, you're just going to have to type in Bobby Gaines and uh, click on the videos there. It should be up by the time this episode is up. If I've mentioned it before, which like I said, I think I have, it should be up. So a little bit of YouTube plug in there. Um, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna watch it, uh, a couple of my other friends from back home, uh, I think said are gonna watch it, um, but I just wanna thank you guys so much, um, this is episode 5, and I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna have some good luck with this, uh, maybe it's just hopeful optimism, maybe it's the fact that I am dangling my unpopular opinion in front of you guys and forcing you to wait until the next episode, but... I mean, then again, if you guys never got past episode one, but, uh, seriously, guys, though, thank you so much, uh, for all the love and support, uh, down in the comments, all the likes you guys have been leaving, all those bells you've been ringing, it's just been it's so great, um, and hopefully, when this airs and the other videos are up, I have a bunch of those things I've just mentioned, um, but I'm, I'm believing in you guys, I'm counting on you guys. Because you guys are my friend of Chew's, and I am Jeff Chew. And I might have stuttered there, but don't worry, there's more where that came from. So, uh, have a great evening, everybody. And remember, do something nice for yourself tonight.